Did an idiot suggest you should steal from CVS? <laughs> Another out of touch celebrity made some dumbass comments, which means it's time for a new segment called Idiot Says What? <laughs> Sex in the City actress and failed gubernatorial candidate Cynthia Nixon says poor people should be allowed to steal personal goods from stores. Between her and Cuomo, I haven't heard of a choice this bad outside of states that let inmates choose how they're executed. <laughs> the Avad Democratic Socialist tweeted, a CVS on my corner has started locking up basic items like clothing detergent. And so as many families can't make ends meet right now, I can't imagine thinking that the way to solve the problem of people stealing basic necessities out of desperation is to prosecute them. You're right. So how about an express aisle for people only stealing 10 items? <laughs> I can't imagine thinking a business can stay open when shoplifters help themselves. She's more out of touch with reality than Miranda was when she thought Steve could change. <laughs> Sex in the City reference. Nixon lives in Manhattan, but in San Francisco, Walgreens has had to close 10 locations, at least, due to rampant, unchecked shoplifting. Now they're the only ones in the Bay Area not selling drugs. <laughs> Tyrus, how stupid can this person be? There are the people that are stealing from CVS, it's actually organized retail crime. They go in, they're young, they steal. And that's it. It's no poor people. I mean, it pisses me off. It it's literally goes back to that same liberal thinking, I'm not affected by this. Yeah. So instead of you donating to a cause or starting a charity, or you maybe taking one of your yeah. royalty checks from... What was it? Sex. Hugs in the city? <laughs> I, I, Hugs in the city. I don't know. Ducks in the city. Hugs in the city. Um, That's what and is. buy a bunch of medication and maybe show up and hand them out in a truck like people did with turkeys and stuff. Instead of that, you know what they should do? That's no different than saying let them eat bread. Yeah. Let them rob people who are working every day to pay their bills and say, let's just take from them because I'm not giving anything. But it's that type of out of touch stupidity that we just see and then because they're a celebrity and smile afterwards and have a good eight by 10, we're supposed to repeat it. You know, like, I don't know if that's a good eight by 10. It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Like, like the thing is, it's not even, a, she ran for governor. So the, even the celebrity thing is, uh, it, she actually thought she could be governor. And she, and to your point, she is a white leftist and the people being hurt by this idea are minority families that live near a CVA, like in San Francisco, in that neighborhood, poor families and elderly are now gonna have to walk where to the next CVS and it may, it may be a neighborhood that's not that safe. She makes, it's her mentality that drives that. Yeah, and also if you allowed people to steal things, the prices would go way higher. So poor people who don't steal would have to pay a lot more. But look, everything about this was ridiculous. So it's easy to miss perhaps the most ridiculous thing of all, which is her suggestion that she actually went to a CVS yes. <laughs> to pick up some laundry detergent for herself. That yeah. never happened. Yeah. She's getting $10 million for the Sex in the City reboot. How much? Ten million uh, for the reboot. She's the least likable character. Yeah. I can see Carrie getting ten. <laughs> but Miranda, no. And what about Steve? I've, <laughs> I've actually Miranda. never. Oh, this seen is an actual show. Miranda. Yeah. Yes. Miranda. <laughs> this is a show. Well, I don't know what's gotten into me lately, but that was wrong. What I just did. Um, where were we? I just, I don't think that she actually walked to the <laughs> store yeah. to get her own laundry detergent. Someone should ask by her the, what it costs. By the way, so. When you go to any drugstore in any major city, they, they have to lock up the, the, the razors, right? Because the razors are... Correct. And every time you go in there, there's something else that's locked up because only high-priced items that could be resold on the street are... It's not people going, I need a loaf of bread, because you can get a loaf of bread free. You can. You just go to the, the churches, have, have these... Uh, you know, no one's starving in these cities. This is retail theft. Yes, and this is such a saviorist mentality. This is the total The issue. mental illness from the A block. Literally, it's yeah. so embarrassing. Meanwhile, she's prancing around the Upper East Side being like, let the poor steal their detergent. <laughs> and everyone else is like, it's not a crime to be poor. It's a, Why it's have a you hit that voice from us all these years? I don't know, I, I blacked I out. I would talk like that every day. <laughs> it's incredible. And, mean, and meanwhile, it's just, it's just a crime to shoplift. And the worst thing to me, actually, was the fact that she drew an equivalence 
between locking up items and prosecution. Like, I am happy to show Miranda any time what a real prosecution looks like, because believe me, sister, having to ask the clerk for a key to the razor is not it. <laughs> yeah, that is so true. And she equates Is the not with... it. <laughs> yeah. I, know I can't even do it again. Do that voice and outnumbered tomorrow, the entire show. Yes, tag out with it every time. <laughs> Pete, that's a really good, but she also equates um, the poor with an acceptance of thievery. It's like all, all poor people would do this, right? It's like if they need something, they'll just go and take it. The poor people in this story are actually the capitalists treating CVS as their storage warehouse. Right. <laughs> because they're stealing the stuff, going out on the street, and then selling it. <laughs> I know. That's exactly what they're it's doing. True. It's true. Okay, America. Mark down, by the way. About it. <laughs> yes, this is someone who's absolutely never run a business, w wouldn't, wouldn't factor that in, is dealing with... Uh, the mental, I mean, leftism is a mental illness, we know that, uh, is dealing, managing that in real time, so we should feel for her that way. And she does reflect, I mean, she could be governor or mayor and govern as well as these left-wing Democrats are doing in cities and states right now. San Francisco, it's actually 17 Walgreens in yes. the last five years. Oh. 17 in the last five years have closed because they can't keep anything under $950. It's only a misdemeanor right. to steal it. It's 950 bucks. You got to work hard in a Walgreens yeah. to find something that costs 950 bucks. It's got to be bucks. it's got to be a certain the violence going to happen with store clerks trying to stop them. Yep. Yeah. So they don't. They yeah. won't. So that's why that's why this is happening. Nobody can do anything except close. And the employees lose their jobs. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.